Hello there, welcome back to those of you who are subscribers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is gonna be your reading for October 16th through the 31st. Hard to believe we're at you know, the end of October already. Thank you so much for all the likes, subscribes, and comments. It really makes me so happy to see how active you guys are on the videos. Um, so if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It's gonna take you to my website with the different options available for you. So you'll just choose and book directly through my website. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I literally have clients spread all around the world. So um, the link is below to my website. It'll give you more information about that. Read the testimonials and definitely take advantage of the 15% discount that I have for first time energy clients. And the energy therapy really is an amazing tool to help bring you fully into balance, to center you. Um, to help you release any emotions or things, thoughts, and patterns that are no longer serving you. And it really brings you to a more empowered place so that you can deal with things in life and relationships and, you know, decisions from a very stable and grounded place. So again, the link is below to my website. Please take advantage of the 15% discount for first-time energy clients. You will also find the link below for Instant Go if you just have a quick question and want an answer. Um, Instant Go is perfect for that if you don't want a full reading. So again, the link is below for Instant Go. So that's it. We're going to get into the readings now. Reading for Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. Again, this is for October 16th through the 31st. I'm sorry if the lighting is not so good. The power is out. <laughs> and since I live in Mexico, it's like you never know when it's going to be back on. So natural lighting is all we've got. So we'll just go with it. So I've already super shuffled the cards for you. So let's see. I'm really curious to see what's going to show up for you today. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, October 16th. Pisces, starting off, we've got the Ten of Wands. Hmm. Are you burying yourself in work or taking on way more than you need to when it comes to certain things in your life? So the, the Ten of Wands is very much like overwhelmed and carrying way too much burden. So sometimes we do this when we are avoiding a certain situation in our life too. It then becomes even easier to bury ourselves within work. So um, I'm really asking, I feel like this card is asking, so what are you avoiding? Is there something in your life that you're avoiding? Because after that, I've got the queen of wands. So um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, but yeah, for some of you, this is a relationship and I feel like you have buried your head about something within the relationship or you're not wanting to face or deal with something in the relationship. Um, for those of you who are single, I feel like there's this person that you could very easily meet, but it's like you aren't paying attention. So you might miss the opportunity to meet this person. But I'm more so feeling this is somebody that's already in your, um, in your life and in your space. Uh, but I've also got the star card. So it's like there's some rest and rejuvenation that's really needed here for you, um, Pisces. I feel like you just need to put down all those wands and all those burdens and just really take some time to get grounded and to get back into you. You know, the star card allows us to heal within and really get grounded. So I guess, yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling you guys are maybe a little bit ungrounded right now. I'm feeling that with the 10 of wands energy. Um, and this queen of wands either wants your attention or is trying to get your attention and you just aren't able to give it right now. And again, these energies go <clears throat> male or female. So whatever's resonating with you. What else? Pisces, 
Okay, so for those of you who do, you know, get the message from the universe and you do take some time out to rest and rejuvenate, um, yeah, it's like, again, I just with this Ten of Wands, I'm feeling like you're avoiding something. And I do feel like it has to do with a relationship because the next card's out. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. So both these cards really are about like a solid relationship. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is a very long-term energy card. It's stability. It's secure, like security. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign. So Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, um, or just someone who, you know, has some earth energy or is very solid and reliable. And the Magician card is about both of you each bringing different tools to the relationship that make it work so well. So if you are buried in work or taking on way too much, it's really hard to work as a team within a partnership. And I think that's why this Queen of Wands, look, the, this energy is like looking away from you while you're buried in work or buried with way too many burdens and responsibilities. It's like take some time to heal, take some time out and get clear that this is really what you want, Pisces. So I do feel this is available for you. And then here you are, you're ready as the Knight of Cups energy. So I'm not, and I just took a big sigh of relief for you. So I do feel you will let go of some of these responsibilities and burdens that you've been carrying because you're clear this is what you want. You really want love and a partnership and you're going to be ready to bring forward your offering of love here with the Knight of Cups which is very romantic and kind of like the knight in shining armor. So knowing that you want long-term stability and, you know, this queen of wands may be the energy that you are with. So this may be your partner, um, fire energy. But let's see what else we've got here. Beautiful. So yeah, I do feel that you are getting into clarity with what it is that you want. And this kind of confirms that. So the Ace of Swords, we've got clarity and a new beginning. So after you are the Knight of Cups and you come forward with your, with your offering of love, wanting long-term stability, it's like, here's the clarity, here's the communication. So if you're cross-watching for a Pisces, I do feel that you will have clarity from them around the relationship if you've been questioning it or wondering kind of what's been happening. I do feel they may have been a little bit withdrawn for a bit. Um, but they've gotten clear, they've pulled out of that, and they're clear of what they want in the relationship. So this is showing a new beginning. Again, it could be an air sign. So uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And I feel like you're going to leave behind the challenges that you've had in the past. So it's like you don't want to make the same mistake. You don't want to repeat the same thing. So you're walking away. You're leaving this behind. You're leaving this behind. Yay! That is a good thing. And look, once you leave it behind, look where you end up. In a beautiful, balanced, harmonious, loving partnership. So again, more fire energy here. Um, but this relate, you know, this type of relationship is very balanced. You know, it's hard to be balanced in a relationship when you're taking on all of this on the outside. So I do feel this queen of wands energy is the partner that you are with, um, because we're ending up here at the four of wands. So really beautiful reading Pisces. I feel like this, you know, these last couple weeks of October is going to be there's going to be some growth happening for you. There's going to be some clarity and communication that's going to come through. And I feel like it's setting you up for the longevity and the security that you want. You know, that ten of coins is right in the middle of the reading. Okay, let's see if there's any last message for you. Okay, the last message out is friendship. 
So this may sound like an interesting message, being that this reading kind of was about love and a, a partnership, but I think this is asking for you to keep balanced in your life. So, you know, keep your time open for friends. I know, Pisces, that's very, very important to you. You love your friendships. You love the people in your life. So um, yes, this love is going to be strong, but keep the balance with your friendships as well so that you, you know, you don't feel like you're going to miss out on something or take on uh, too much of one thing. It's more of like keeping balance in your life, okay? So I feel like that was a pretty good reading for you. I hope it resonated. If not, you can watch your moon sign or your rising sign. And thank you so much for all the comments on the videos. I'm not able to respond to all of them, but I do read every single comment, and I greatly appreciate you taking the time to do that. So thank you. Um, and if you want a personal reading, the link is below. It's going to take you to my website with the different options available. You'll just choose the reading and book it directly there. And again, I am a master energy therapist, so I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I literally have clients all around the globe, um, all around the world at this point. So um, check out the link below. It has all the information is there on my website for you. And take advantage of the 15% discount that I do have for first-time energy clients, okay? So that's it for now, Pisces. I'm truly wishing you all the best, and I will see you back here for the first half of November readings. Take care. Yeah.